Welcome back to In the Know. We are talking about the healing power of color and our guest expert today is Angela Dacey, personal development expert. And we've touched a little bit about interior design, mm -hmm. what to paint. Now we'll, we'll touch on that more um, when we talked about white and black. Yes. So I'll ask you this. People okay. must paint, I, I know a lot of people, myself included, paint their houses very earthy and beige, yeah. you know, yeah. uniformity. Right. My house is all different colors. My painter actually thought I was crazy because every single room is a different color. Me too. <laughs> is that a good thing? It can be, definitely. I mean, it has to re reflect your personality and what you're really looking for. But again, I'm going to go back to you need to bring in at least one form of color. So monotone is okay, but where a lot of interior designers fail is to bring in color. They're scalar, and no offense to you out there, but <laughs> some of you are scared to use color. Um, and it can be something very simple. If you have an all-white kitchen, we'll bring in an accent. And now, normally they would say, well, we do that. But this is a key where you want to be careful what colors you do bring in when it comes to interior decorating. As we heard with Maria, mm -hmm. you don't want to bring red into a bedroom if you don't right. need it. So with kitchens, for example, we don't want to bring blues in because it's going to be too cold and suppress the appetite. And that doesn't mean for the people who need to lose weight to go out and paint their kitchens all blue. Far from it. <laughs> we need to eat. Um, so we want to make sure that we incorporate the right colors for our own healing. Okay. okay. So. so we've got a few photos here again from Chatelaine Magazine. Um, this isn't a kitchen, it's a no. bathroom, but there we're going to show you the, the juxtaposition between all white and all dark. Yes. Uh, so this we've got a very dark uh, bathroom. That's white. Oh, very white bathroom, white. sorry. Yeah, which is really nice. It's crisp, it's clean. White gives you the, the purity, it's divinity, it's innocence, but it also makes you feel like bacteria free. But again, you're going to walk into that room and not feel life. You're not going to feel like, well, I really want to stay in this room. So again, one color. Okay. And, and the one color for the bathroom, I'm going to guess, would be a green or a blue, exactly. maybe. See, and it's funny how you even know that, right? Um, we, we brought some things that we're going to show to do mm -hmm. with bathrooms, and definitely those colors are very soothing, healing colors. You'll see them in spas okay. quite a bit. All right, kitchen. I love my food, and I love to cook. This is a very dark kitchen, which is yes. trendy nowadays. A dark kitchen is trendy. It is, and again, it's very earthy, which mm -hmm. does kind of fit in with those bottom chakras, connecting mm -hmm. to the ground. Food comes from the ground, right? So it does give a lot of that stability and that structure and that warmth, but again, you want to bring it into how can we make this a place that we want to visit? Most people hang out in the kitchen. Right. So what can you do to create that social atmosphere or that place where kids want to do homework or that place where you really want to cook the best Italian meal? Right. <laughs> right. Or the best meal in general. Exactly. And have people over and, and social. So right. if you have a dark uh, kitchen cabinet, what color would you paint the walls in your kitchen? Well, I brought some things from Pier 1 Imports, and mm -hmm. they've been amazing, so thank you for giving us some amazing props today. Um, and this is a great realization of what you can do. So say everything's dark brown, so you're into the warm colors, mm -hmm. right? So these are very autumn-like, but when you take a look even at the bowls, okay, see how they're kind of trimmed with the reds right. and the yellows, and there's even a bit of the brown? Again, this is about sit down, eat, enjoy the food, stimulate your appetite. Um, the oranges are about socializing and communication with those people entertaining having fun and laughing mm -hmm. so and you want green the green is just that little bit of harmonious balance so again I wouldn't go all green I love how it's tied in a little bit for warmth especially love mm -hmm. if that's the place where you're going to be eating yep. with family and friends but you want that burst of color so I really loved this and even if you don't have a lot of color again it doesn't have to be much just these bottles I thought were so cool you could fill it with olive oil you could fill them with sugar it doesn't mm -hmm. matter but you, know, you could throw a rose in it but at least it adds that punch okay and I again I brought just a book called no wheat no way which is one of my Bible books because in my family we don't eat wheat but take a look even on the book it's done with orange right she already like whether or not she knew it she already knew that that's gonna help stimulate people's appetite so if you're giving a gift you can do it like this or if you just say I want to punch up my kitchen a little bit bring in a red orange or yellow and it's gonna just feel more homey okay now I get bored and when I do my own personal decor and I like to change my decor with the seasons oh, and cool. kind of you know adapt and add different colors cool. is that something that you would encourage people to do for sure because what you're going to do in life where you're headed your personality type everything's going to shift and change so for example I lived in a blue bedroom for years and years and years and then I moved into a new house last year and I actually went with a gorgeous indigo wall that was really different for me and so it's just like you know what new time new space in my life let's try something different you can bring it in now again I'm not saying no don't use this don't right. use that use your personality and use what you're what you need but definitely it, it helps you kind of realize why you're moving in that direction. So if you just say, I have to have an orange room, I have to, 
chances are in life you're going through maybe the need to play, the need to be spontaneous, mm -hmm. the need to let go of some responsibility. So your body's craving that orange, then use it. Okay. So you consult with people all the time and, mm -hmm. and you have uh, seminars. Have you experienced someone who has, you know, been in a bad situation, been in a drab part of their life and used color to help them? Oh, 110%. <laughs> I've been doing this now for 22 years. So um, I've seen the effects not only with myself, but I've seen the effects with other clients as well. And it really gets you into a fantastic place, especially when you bring it in where you're, you're owning it, you're wearing it, you're living in it, you're bathing in it, then you can actually have immediate change. Okay, so it's like, again, it's almost taking food for the soul. Right. Um, my little, I'll tell you, I've got two children. My little guy, here's how potent it is with health. I remember he was about three years old and he came home one day, we were out with Saga Beach swimming in the water and he came home with hives and he was walking up the stairs and I said, okay, let's get you into a bath. You need an orange bath because orange is for allergies and asthma. And he says, no, mom, I need yellow. And I, I, I'm, I'm thinking, well, I'm the expert here. So I said, no, 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 you're only three. You need, you need this, you need the orange. And he fought me on it and he was only three. And he said, no, 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 I need yellow. Well, it turns out I said, fine, have your yellow bath. Hives disappeared within 15 minutes of after having the bath. Found it on the news that night that Wasega Beach ended up being closed shortly after we left due to parasites in the water. Yellow helps you with parasites. So that little guy at three knew the frequency and the energy he needed and was able to help his own body. Kids know. Kids know if like what color they want to wear. That's right. what I say. Never pick out your kids' clothes. I was just going to ask you that. Never pick out your kids' clothes. What I have a five-year-old. If your kids want to paint their room a certain color, go for it. The only thing I would not suggest is a lot of black, mm -hmm. right? And and again, you can you maybe have to monotone some of it, but they know what they need. They really did. Um, my little guy, again, when he was about two, had a bit of um, a physical eating problem. We brought some red into his room, helped tremendously. Now he's older, he's 11, he doesn't need that. He's now lime green and blue, <laughs> right up. <laughs> so it, you definitely so use wanna... use the colors with your life, with changing experiences exactly. and you know, have it help you. Totally, totally, and as you're going through physical changes, emotional changes, you're gonna want different colors to come into your life. Okay. More in the know coming up. We're talking more interior design, more painting, more color right after the break.